Today, we are about to visit a former Islamic school, which over the years has transformed into a Yerdir's cultural center. The two-story building with a big stone door, a courtyard in the middle and 30 rooms in total currently serves as a bazaar and the cultural center of the town. We will also attend a workshop activity held by Turkish women and will get to learn a little bit more about Turkish culture. So that's Mustafa and he brought me to the cultural center, no? It's a cultural... We are in a cultural center. Every Saturday, a group of women meet in this center and they create all kinds of handicrafts. There are several little rooms just full of things created by the women. There is also a room specifically dedicated to the history of the town and the historical sites in the town. And now here comes the real deal. I had the opportunity to join the group of women who taught me how to do some of the handicrafts. <laughs> With this case, I can close the city. City case. City case. Right. If we are gone, city is closed. City is <laughs> closed. closed. Eventually, first hand, I also got a chance to learn how carpets are made. Quick, quick. Art. Yes, 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 yes. Only one hand. Only one hand. Good. You learn? Yes, no, uh, yes. now I go to Slovakia and I will start with carpets. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, I, I will make Turkish carpets in Slovakia. <laughs> wow, it's cool. Thank you. And the last thing we came to visit is one of the biggest mosques here in the area. So, and Mustafa just told me that you can fit around 3,000 people here into this mosque. 